Hey guys, what's going on? Storm Rider 36 here, and today I have an amazing gameplay for you. It's it blows my mind how good this gameplay was. I was not expecting this. So if you watch my video from a few days ago or yesterday, whenever you watch this, whenever I post this, um, I did a, a max sensitivity 360 shot with my friend, and we did that for like the whole game. So our minds were like blown because we couldn't comprehend anything it was so hard to like even think straight because we're not used to the game moving that fast i'm pretty sure that's how it feels when my parents watch me play this game because my mom always used to say all oh, that makes me sick i kind of get it what she feels except for you know it's weird because i'm used to it being you know normal but this gameplay is a flawless nuclear my first nuclear in black ops 3 and it's flawless I was amazed and I'm not even like hiding so much as I'm in the fight most of the time I think if I remember correctly but you know I did extremely well and I'm extremely happy about that whole thing and right there I run out of ammo so I'm like oh shit oh shit you know you start freaking out because you're out of ammo and you're on a giant streak and everything because as you can see here I'm 10 and 0 I'm like I didn't even know at this point I didn't check the scoreboard until I was like 22 and 0 because to be honest, I didn't really care because I was too busy, like, trying to control myself. Because I was freaking, I was freaking, like, dying. <laughs> and watch this vision pulse shoot him through the waterfall. It's amazing. He was probably pissed. <laughs> but really, it was so amazing. I, and in Black Ops 2, I didn't really get nuclears. I think I got one ever. And I already have a nuclear using my favorite gun, the Havoc. It's funny. I mean, these people, I'm going to say, aren't the best. They are nowhere close to my skill level, which, you know, kind of takes away from it. But at the same time, you know, it was still a good game for me. And at the end of the game, they still had kills. It's not like I was dominating them. Like, they could kill my teammates. It was just me. Maybe I had a good game because my aim was better because I was on super high. And then I went back to my regular. I play on five. You know what I mean? So maybe that, that was it. I don't know. Maybe I just played smarter than I usually do. That could be it too. You know? I get a bunch of Cerberus, I get a bunch of Raps, and yet I still get the nuclear. I was actually worried in the middle of playing this game. I was like, wait, I have these kill streaks that uh, kill people. Am I going to be able to get the nuclear? Because I don't actually know what kind of a gun streak I'm on. But then I did get it because in the middle of the game a notification pops up that, hey, you got a nuclear, here's a calling card. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome, my first nuclear. And right here, I'm, like, rushing for this person's gun. Yeah, I had to pick up a ton of guns because I don't have Scavenger yet. So I was like, no, no. So I pick up the, the Man of War and everything. So it's, like, a whole bunch of different guns are being used in this gameplay. I think eventually I pick up a Weevil because I run out of Havoc ammo. But it was amazing. I had so much fun. Me and my friend were both complaining. He's still trying to snipe, by the way. He went back down to his regular sensitivity, still trying to snipe. And he just, he was he couldn't. He couldn't figure it out. We were both really disorientated. But apparently it helped my aim because I... Got a lot of kills. And didn't die. Now, the not dying part, that's the enemy team being pretty bad. The kills part, I actually could aim. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. But, uh, I don't really know what I want to talk about in this. And Rejack, right here, actually, hold on. Right here, I was freaking out. Because he had damaged me pretty good. And then Rejack popped, and I was like, oh no. Oh no, most people who have Rejack, they literally jump straight up and kill you. Because it's... It's pretty hard to shoot somebody that's in the air, especially if they jump up and then still have their boost and then they jump more. So I was really worried, so I dove behind the sign, which has honestly probably saved my life. So as you can see at the end of the first round, I'm 22-0. and 0. I was like, what? I'm 22-0? and 0? Because I, I hadn't really been thinking about it. I was too into the game, too into, like, you know, talking to my friend about what we had just done, what our brains were currently doing. Like, they were so out of it and everything. And then... All of a sudden, I'm 22 and 0, and I'm like, oh shit, now I have to try to actually get a nuclear because I'm pretty close, I think. Like, it, I didn't realize that I wasn't going to get a nuclear or that I could not potentially get a nuclear. Uh, I didn't notice until later on in the game because that's when I remembered. I think it's when I get my wraps coming up here in like two seconds. Uh, yeah, because right here I noticed that this is when I was on the nuclear, so I'm like, okay, I don't want to rush forward instantly and die like I usually do in Dom. And right here, I was actually really nervous, but that person doesn't can't aim, so I was pretty happy. So right here is where I noticed that, oh, I 
uh, could possibly not get a nuclear because I don't actually know what gun streak I'm on. I'm just on a 30 streak. So, you know. Envision Pulse, I don't know if it helped me too much. I didn't really use it to kill more than one person. So, I mean. As you can see, 24 0, I have wraps going around, you know. And honestly, I'm surprised that my teammate's not trying to dominate this entire match. Like, we didn't cap B from the very beginning, because I was way off of there. Sorry, I wasn't, I'm not worried about capturing B until, like, right now. I'm a very objective base player. I don't really care about kills and accolades and all that stuff, but, you know, I just thought it was fun. But, I'm still, I'm still baffled that I even did this, and I literally am recording this right after this happened. Like, we, I just played this game. So my head is still a little bit spinning from that fucking 14 sensitivity. And it was both. It wasn't just one. Actually, just one probably would have been funnier. But it wasn't just one. It was vertical and horizontal. Both of them were freaking, uh... We were both freaking, uh... We were just spinning around going ham. See, right here. I'm at 30 kills, but I just got the brutal. So now, now that I'm watching it back, I know I, I was five away. Really. Well, in the game, I didn't know. I had no clue, so I was so freaking worried. But I didn't, like, back up and be a little baby and, you know, try to camp it out at maybe the spawn flag or something. I'm right I'm right next to their flag, you know. I think I do get a little bit wimpy towards the end because, you know, I didn't want to die because I was flawless, so I kind of camp a little bit more. I think I camp in the, like, resort area that there is on this map. But otherwise, you know, it's pretty active gameplay. I'm kind of running around. You know, it's my gameplay. I don't fully run and gun, but at the same time, I don't just sit back and, like, wait for people to come to me. I usually go to where people are going and try to get, get there first. And if they get there first, then I'm fucked. Pretty much is how this works. So. But this... And Hunted, one of my favorite maps, honestly, because it was in the beta, so, you know, you like the maps that were in the beta. And right here, I'm talking to my friend. He was right there. He's like... I was like, I dude, I need a gun. I need a gun. He's like, just follow me around. I'll die eventually. <laughs> And then he was like, but I have a sniper and a pistol. And I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. That, that's when I go in here, use the vision pulse, you know, to make sure that I'm not going to get attacked or anything. Oh, yeah, and then right here, I pick up this gun. This gun is the weirdest gun ever. It's like a pulse gun or something. And I was like, no, no, no. So right here's the weevil I was talking about earlier. And this is towards the end of the gameplay, you know, where... And right here, I, I don't even know. I should probably be dead. And right there's the nuclear, as you can see. And I'm 35 and 0, so I was exactly five kills behind. And I'm I'm just still baffled because you know it's not like me to not die. I usually die for going for B or anything in domination, you know. But this enemy team, like, go look at their scores right now. A few of them are new joints, like they just joined in. So, you know, maybe if they would have been here the whole time, I would have died. Who knows? But see, they're not. The three on top aren't doing too bad. Like, there's a 10 and 11, 11 and 18. You should have seen the people from before. Maybe I'll go back and show you at the end. They were at the second half, at the first half, at the end of that. Oh my god. They had an 0 and 15. You know, they did not have good players. But I also played extremely well. Like, I could predict where they're going. Like, right here is where I think it gets a little campy. I stay in the building. Don't want to get killed from above or anything like that. I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. Because as you can see, I'm 41 and 0. I, the game's almost over. It's at 89. And we have two flags, so therefore it's going to be over in five seconds. So, I, I, after I get this UAV, I think I get a little bit more inclined to move. But at the same time, this area right here on C, I never push. Because the head glitch that's on C, you're going to die every time. It's not going to work. And you're just going to regret ever going down that little area. But... I am so excited for this gameplay. It's really good gameplay, and it was right after we, me and my friend had our minds fucked by 14 sensitivity, and it was amazing, and I absolutely loved it. And it was just, it was just cool to do. It was cool to have that happen. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. The gameplay's over. <laughs> Final scoreboard right here. I did the best out of everybody, including the enemy team. I didn't die. Four captures, four defense. So not totally objective playing, I know. Uh, but I loved it. It was amazing. First nuclear. First flawless, too, actually. First flawless game, first nuclear on Black Ops 3. And I just want to thank you all for watching. Leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed. 
Subscribe for more Black Ops 3, and this has been Stormrider36.